Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ceasefire. Yeah! Ceasefire, everybody. That is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Guys, you've got this kind of really new sound. Like, you kind of actually don't sound like any other, other band to me. What, what, what do you listen to? Uh, we listen, well, we all, all individually listen to very different things. Um, me, personally, I'm into the neighbourhood at the moment a lot. Uh, and London Grammar, who's just come through, I think, great. And uh, I think a lot of the other boys kind of listen. It all varies, like to hip hop, to very kind of classical things, and yeah, we've got all in, uh, our own influences. And James, you've historically recorded your own material, and it's only recently that you've kind of decided to make that sound even bigger by bringing a remixer in. Yeah, well, you mean Dan Greck? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, we, yeah, like you said, we always record everything ourselves, and just the opportunity came about to have our stuff like remixed by Dan before it went into, well, before it became the finished article. So he obviously has a lot of experience doing, working with a lot of, you know, a lot of awesome people, a lot of people that we really, really respect. And so to have the opportunity was obviously something that we, you know, grasp with both hands. Basically. Tom O'Dell, the vaccines and hurts. I mean, it's quite interesting. So you, you record it at home and then you almost give it 
to this guy and he turns it into that kind of beautiful wash of a sound that is ceasefire. Yeah, uh, well, we record it at home and then so we basically send him the stems and then he goes into a studio for the day and just puts it all through their compressor and their desk and she makes it sound huge, basically. And we're really happy with how it sounds when it comes back. So, yeah, it's great. Do you ever get the opportunity to go and watch him do that and kind no. of learn stuff from him? <laughs> no. He doesn't let you. It's no. a secret. It's a secret. I think, yeah, it's, good. it's a dirty secret. It's good to have him do it on his own, really. I mean, I don't, you know, we've created it and then we give it to him and then he does it completely on his own, you know? And how's the, the exercise of translating those songs and those, those textures into doing it live? Because obviously that's a, that's a gift again. Um, yeah, I mean, like, we start, when we started out, there was no live drums on the um, recording, so everything was electronic. So you kind of have to, well, I would certainly find like, trying to translate that to playing live was a bit difficult. Like, I'd never done, done any stuff with electronics. So without going too technical, just explain the sort of things that you've got as part of your kit. Uh, um, it's just like subs, basically. So I got like big subby kicks, um, sort of like subtract kind of sounds. Can you um, hit one of them for us? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not really coming out too. That sounded deep for me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's nice. And you've got a few gigs coming up. You'll be playing at Live at Leeds, White Heat, and The Great Heat, uh, The Great Escape. Great Escape. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah it's going to be a first show in a little while. Why did you doing the last one? That was only a month ago, maybe. But, you know, it's good to kind of go play these shows. And a lot of other bands that we really look up to are playing, so it's going to be good to kind of check them out, too. OK, well, I think it's time we had another song. This is one we know and love. Ceasefire and Falling.
Control. 